Why hello, in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to add your overlay to OBS Studio. All right, so first things first, uh, you wanna make sure that you are on the correct scene, uh, the scene that you want to add your overlay to. So either you already have one created, so just make sure you left click to highlight it, or right click, add a new one, press this uh, plus icon, you'll do the same thing give it a name, press okay, good to go. So once you've highlighted your scene that you're wanting to add your overlay to, head over to the sources box. This is where we're gonna add your image. So you can either right click in the sources box, hover over add and click image, or pressing the plus icon does the exact same thing. So we'll do that. Now that opens up a new window where you can name your overlay. This will allow you to organize things better. So in my example, I'm going to add uh, a webcam overlay. So let's call it a webcam overlay. Now press OK. This next window is where you want to find your file for your overlay. So press browse, look for it on wherever you saved it on your computer. Uh, mine's right here, conveniently enough. So I'm gonna double click that and then there you go. Press OK and you now have your overlay uh, looking good on your OBS. Now, if you want to move your overlay or resize it, you can simply left click on the image and give it a couple shakes. Not too many, just, just a couple. And then to resize it, click on one of the circles, left click and drag it. Now you can resize it, move it and place it perfectly for your channel. Now, a couple of other options when you're resizing it, you can use the Alt and left click option. So Alt, left click, and then drag it. And this kind of gives you the option to crop your overlay. Not really sure what you'd use that for, but the option is there. Another option is holding Shift and dragging. This lets you resize it so it doesn't really take into account of the uh, aspect ratio. Because when you're not holding Shift, you'll see when I make it smaller, it still keeps the aspect ratio intact. So that's another option for you. Once you've uh, positioned it, resized it, how you normally would in your, or how you would like for your channel, this is normally where I put it on my stream. You can lock it by hitting edit and then lock preview. It's, it's usually a good idea. To, <laughs> it's usually a good idea to do that um, because you can't undo actions in OBS. Like if you were to move this, you can't press like control Z or like edit undo for whatever reason. I'm not sure why they don't allow you to do that. But anyways, so it's a good idea to lock things when you're done. I'm going to unlock it. Still want to play around with my overlay. Show you guys a couple more things. Um, if you right click on the overlay or even in the sources box, you can go to transform and this gives you a couple more options to uh, adjust your overlay to fit how you like it. So that's that. Um, that was one way to add your overlay to OBS. There is another way of doing it, a lot faster way of doing it. So if you have your file handy on your computer somewhere, you can simply left click it, and then drag it over to OBS and voila, you now have it right there in OBS. You didn't have to right click, add image, you know, none of that stuff. You might still want to rename it, so you can just right click under the sources, hit rename, and then call it what you want to call it. I don't think that'll work because I already have one called webcam overlay, but uh, okay, sure, that worked. Anyways, so that's how you add your overlay to OBS Studio. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Or catch me on Twitch where I stream live and you can say hello to me in person. That'd be cool too. All right, see ya.